Hey, what's up mga kote? It's me, Ate Mariel, at welcome sa Kodrinos, where learning is the name of the game. So, kung bago ka pa lamang sa aming YouTube channel, i-click mo na ang subscribe, like, and share button para maging updated ka sa aming mga videos. So, samahan natin si Super K sa panibagong araw at panibagong lesson na ating matututunan dito sa Kodrinos. At ang bagong lesson natin for today is about a special star, the sun. The sun? The sun? <laughs> the sun. So, nung previous uh, lessons natin, napag-aralan natin yung constellations and starlight, star bright. So, ngayon naman, a special star, the sun. So, objective natin for today is ma-observe natin kung ano-ano nga ba mga activities na pwedeng makita natin sa sun and ano-ano nga ba mga properties nito, kung saan siya ba galing, kung saan siya nakalocate. So, so, ganun yung mapapag-aralan natin for this day. But, before we start our lesson proper, so, syempre, meron akong trivia, another trivia for my STI organizer. So, nung isang araw, or nung last lessons natin, napag-aralan natin yung apple and bees. So, so ito naman, <coughs> not about animals naman, but most of teenagers will relate. Be ignored cause the same chemical reaction in the brain as experiencing a physical injury. So, sa lahat ng mga ghostbusters and ghosters dyan, sa lahat ng mga ginoghost nyo, ganito yung mga nararamdaman nila. Being ignored causes same chemical reaction in brain as experiencing a physical injury. So, masakit talaga na masin ka lang. Yung hindi ka niya reply, ano, walang dahilan. So, ganon. Like this. Hi there! Um, hello! So, nasin pa. Tapos may heart, heartbroken na heart siya. So, yan, sa lahat ng mga ghostbusters and ghosters dyan, ito yung nararamdaman ng mga ginoghost nyo. So, same chemical reaction kapag nagkaroon tayo ng physical injury. So, super sakit talaga na mag-ghost. And masin lang talaga ng reply. Ay, naku. Lalo na pag walang label. So, stop na. Kailangan talaga laging may label. So, yan. Let's start the lesson proper about the special star. A special star, the sun. The sun is the nearest star to Earth. Because of its nearness, it helps astronomers. Ang astronomers natin ay the scientists who study heavenly bodies. About constellations, about sun, about stars. So, mga ganan. To understand the other stars that are so far away from Earth, it is yellow size. Mid it is yellow middle size star. Ang ating sun is the nearest star to the Earth. At ang ating astronomers, pag sinabi natin astronomers, scientists who study heavenly bodies to understand the stars that are so far away from Earth. So, ang kulay niya is yellow middle size star. So, next one. Where the sun is located? Saan nga ba siya nakatira? Or saan nga ba siya naka nanggaling? Or saan siya ba nagmula? It is one of the 200 billion stars in the galaxy called Milky Way. So, kasama siya doon sa mga 200 billion stars. So, pagod ka na magbilang, hindi mo pa mabibilang yung 200 billion star, star na yon. Pero, nakalocate siya sa Milky Way na galaxy. So, yan. Doon siya nakalocate. Astronomers say that this galaxy called Milky Way, which is one, which is the home of our solar system, it is made of two 100 billion of stars. Ang ating mga astronomers or yung mga scientists who study heavenly bodies, sinasabi nila na ang galaxy na tinatawag ng Milky Way ay home ng ating solar system. Na meron silang 100 billion of stars. Kung kanya 200 billion stars, hirap ka na. Paano pa rin kaya itong 100 billion na to? Pagod ka na, hindi mo pa mabibilang yung mga stars na nandun sa Milky Way na yun. But eh, yung kanya mga assumptions... At kanina mga sabi na ang galaxy na Milky Way ay home ng ating solar system. So, next one. What is the sun made of? So, ano nga ba yung kanyang properties? Kung saan ba siya gawa? It is a huge ball of hot, mostly hydrogen. At the score or middle part is very hot, around 15 million, 15 million degrees Celsius. Diba nung last lesson natin, nag-measure natin yung pinaka-hottest star na blue or blue-white star na 35,000 degrees Celsius. So, mas malala pa pala yung init na mararamdaman mo dito sa sun. Super, mega, super, mega, mega, mega 
and highest level init po dahil 15 million degrees Celsius po ang kanyang temperature. So, paano kaya nila na-measure yung super mega mega and super super to the highest level na kanilang measurement about temperature ng sun. Pag super init niya, yun ang kanyang properties. Huge ball of hot mostly hydrogen. Yun ang ating Diyan po gawa ang ating star. The big amount of energy in the core escapes into cold surface called photosphere in the form of light and heat. So, pag sinabi natin photosphere, the big amount of energy in the core escapes into the sun's surface. So, nag-form siya in light or heat. Solar flare are fountains of flowing gases shooting from the sun. Sometimes, they can reach Earth's atmosphere and form brightly colored lights called auroras. They are also cristatic on radio broadcast. So, itong solar flare na to ay fountains of flowing gases shooting from the sun. So, yan ang ating solar flare. Uh, Nagkakosya ng static on radio broadcast at pag na-reach niya yung Earth's atmosphere, it, it form brightly colored lights called aurora or auroras. So, yan. The sun is very active. Some of its activities affect Earth. So, talaga naapektuhan tayo. Depende sa init, depende rin sa kanyang, uh, depende sa weather natin, kung gano'n ba natin ma-experience yung init ng araw and yung talagang temperature niya. The, te the we parts of the sun with cooler temperature appear as dark spots called sunspots. Astronomers found out that they across the surface of the sun in the pattern of about 11 years. Wow, 11 years. And yung mga sunspots na yon ay found that they across the surface of the sun in a pattern for about 11 years. Astronomers believe that certain weather conditions are affected by sunspots. Naka, kung nakakurious kayo about sa, spons, sa sunspots, ito yung kanyang itsura. So, yan. So, nakikita nyo yan. Ganyan siya. Ganyan. Nakiging ganyan. And ganyan. So, balik tayo sa isa pang PowerPoint. Some areas in the world have very dry weather in every 11 years. From So marami tayong mga typos dito but I will correct this. From 1645 to 1715 there were no sunspots and earth experienced little ice age. Very cold winters were experienced and many rivers were frozen. So kumanta talaga si Elsa na let it go na super haba and tinatawag siyang Little Ice Age so kumanta talaga si Elsa at si Olaf ng Let It Go and do you wanna build a snowman? yan so yan, yan ang movement ng ating sunspots yan, ganyan ang itsura niya so before we end our lesson so syempre mag recap muna tayo so pag sinabi natin astronomers, scientists who study heavenly bodies so, ang ating sun ay nakalocate sa galaxy called Milky Way. So, ang Milky Way na yon ay tinatawag na home of our solar system. So, ang ating sun ay made of huge ball of hot, mostly hydrogen. Its core or middle part is very hot. And photosphere, the big amount of energy in the core escapes into sun's surface. So, solar flare and fountains of flowing gases shooting from the sun. So, as a uh, brightly colored lights na pag na-reach nila Earth atmos atmosphere called auroras. So, yan ang solar flare. Sunspots are dark spots na part of the sun cooler with col cooler temperature appear as dark spots called sunspots. So, yan. So, yan ang ating lesson about... Uh, a special star, the sun. So, kung meron kayo mga questions, clarifications, and mga corrections, uh, comment lang kayo sa comment section or message us. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button. So, thank you. Have a great day and God bless. So, see you on my next video. Bye-bye.